huge. I mean, the, the gallery is still here. It's it's huge. Uh, I mean, to bring the quinoa into this country, that was huge. Mm. But and that that the 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 whole natural foods movement was my mother and June Kirkwood. Mm. And that Pure was huge. My mother came from a, a very well-to-do Southern family. And they had gardens and gardens and gardens, and you know, you went to dinner, and there were five kinds of tomatoes and this and that, and it was all very organic, nutritious. So, my, my grandmother was one of the first subscribers to Rodale's, what's that magazine? You know, organic gardening, whatever. So, it, it was much imbued. In the the, the um, organic, original, non-pesticide Rachel Carson sort of stuff. That was my mother's. My father grew up, um, his father died when he was four, and he grew up mostly with his German grandmother. And so from, from my father came the, the, the taste, the flavors of putting the things together, like making lamb burgers <laughs> <laughs> and things like that. You know, he really had a great uh, flair for flavor. And did, so together they did that. Did you just say blam burger? Blam burger. What's I a did. blam burger? A blam burger is half lamb and half beef. And it was one of their favorite things at the restaurant <laughs> in the town. Oh, well, that reminds Summer, we became very sensitive to the fact that we didn't have a handle on our sustenance and that we should be, like all city people, we should be concerned about how our food's grown and whether it can be grown in the future without destroying the soil and a lot of concerns that folks don't seem to have when they go to the grocery store. So the farm school is an effort to find ways to, to salvage American small farming, small family farming, because the current agribusiness, the large-scale farming, is not sustainable. Uh, it, in one or two generations, we will we'll be a desert in this nation if we don't concern ourselves with the sustainability of our agriculture. So the farm school is dedicated to finding ways to put people back on the land where they can care about it and not talk about it as an abstraction and not work it from a computer, but work You're on a sustainable basis. You're doing it without machinery. Because of their history of appreciating good food, healthy food, organic food, uh, that farming was a, an important human endeavor and he needed to start a farm school and went down to Gardner, Colorado and with support from John Denver and others, created the Malachite Small Farm School with horse-drawn plows and quinoa growing going on and things that nobody had heard of back then. Mm -hmm. um, that too has influenced ACES because we've also recognized in, in purchasing and running Rock Bottom Ranch, we see that as important as it is to save wild places, how we do agriculture on 70% of our country's landscape, which is how much of it we use for agriculture, mm -hmm. has so much to do with the quality of water and the quality of our air and the quality of the wild plants and animals that live on the margins mm -hmm. of agricultural landscapes. Uh, so another, another circle. Yeah.